Here's some other slabs that I've cut on the sawmill and the larger ones are pine and the smaller ones are cedar. And uh, I take and I, uh, I stockpile these a little bit and keep them on uh, hand and then when uh, I advertise them, folks call them, call, call me about them and uh, we uh, sell and trade for them. Those are cedar right there. There's a couple over there standing against the uh, corn crib. And I've got stuff all over the place, you know, <laughs> i got to clean up. But again, it's just a good way for me to make extra money. I'm retired and I can make my own hours. And um, I use this here uh, wood miser sawmill and uh, I can make a little extra money for our homestead. this walnut log smaller so we can get it to fit onto the sawmill. The sawmill will only cut a log that's up to 28 inches wide and this one was almost three feet. So I have to take some of it off to get it into the sawmill.
morning I just wanted to show you uh, how I make a little extra money on the homestead. What you're looking at right now are two black walnut slabs that I just cut on my sawmill. And over here is the sawmill. And I purchased this in 2008 when I first moved on to the homestead so I could um, build, uh, make my own lumber for all my buildings. And uh, pretty much got all my buildings up now. But uh, what I use it for now is to make a little in income with it. And uh, I take and I saw trees for po people and uh, I make lumber for them and, and sell that to them. I charge them by the hour. And uh, I also cut up uh, lumber and I sell it. And here's another uh, walnut slab that I just cut yesterday. And uh, this is a good way for somebody that has a homestead, especially if you have a lot of trees. And even if you don't, you can get people to give you trees and sell you trees cheaply. And um, I took out a little uh, website, and that's how I advertise. And uh, it helps make a little extra money on the homestead.